Chronicle Graphics is excited to announce our new version of OnePager Pro version 5.0. This video will introduce you to the main features included in this new release. I have a view open here and the first thing you'll notice is that we've modified the toolbar to be in the tabular or ribbon format that the newer Office applications employ. We hope this makes the overall navigation of OnePager more intuitive and the heavily used commands more accessible. The file tab is self-explanatory, however, there are a few specific changes and enhancements to point out in the other tabs. First, on the main tab, notice the Copy to Template button. What this button does is create a template from the settings within the properties of the project view that are controlling the one-pager view that I have open. This feature existed before, however, the sequence to create a template from an existing view was different and we used to call it a profile. We determined the term profile wasn't intuitive enough, so moving forward we'll be calling it a template, since that's what it is. You'll also notice that the Profiles button that was once in Project now says Templates. In the View tab, you will see your Snapshot Navigation buttons, as well as enhanced zoom capabilities that will allow you to easily zoom in and out by hitting the plus or minus buttons. We've also brought some other visual on-off controls into the ribbon that were previously tucked within the properties of the Project View. If I click into the Properties of the Project View by clicking the Project View Properties button from the Home tab, you will immediately notice that the look and feel of this form has changed. There is now a vertical navigation that will allow us more room in the future to continue to add features and controls. We've also added three new tabs, two of which are extremely significant, and they are the Taskbars tab and the Milestones tab. These two tabs have essentially replaced the Colors tab and have also collected certain settings that were previously spread out within the properties of the Project View form. If I click into the Taskbars tab, you'll notice that the formatting of the shapes has become vastly more flexible. You can now modify the shape, fill, and border of the tasks. If I flip over to the Milestones tab, you'll see that you now have a little over 50 milestone shapes to choose from. The Milestones tab is separate because you can format milestone shapes separately from your Taskbar shapes. I'm going to click back to the Taskbars tab now and discuss decorations. In 5.0, we've enhanced the flexibility with which you can format and display certain text values from your project or visual indicators, and we've grouped these elements into a section called Decorations. For example, if I click into the Percent Complete Properties button, you'll notice that I can now display my Percent Complete text values as a separate decoration within or around my task or milestone shape. I can also control how that text font is formatted. Here's an example. We've also enhanced the way start and end dates can be displayed. If I click into the Date Label Properties button, you'll notice that both the dates are individual decorations that I can control separately in terms of where they reside around my shape. Here are a couple tasks where I have my dates displaying separately. We've also added the ability for you to visually indicate a certain date within a specific task that may have a specific relevance in the form of a deadline or endpoint marker. I have a few tasks here where I've turned endpoints on for my start and finish dates to illustrate how that might look. All of these new formatting capabilities are something that you can control on a task by task or group basis if you wish. Simply grab a task or a series of tasks, then either right click into one of them and select format in the list or hit the Format button on the Home toolbar to get the form to pop to control your formatting. In the very bottom of my Taskbars tab, you'll notice a section called Conditional Formatting. This is a gigantic leap in terms of automation in OnePager, and it allows you to control how shapes appear based on specific text in your source data. In this example, I've got four rules set up to have OnePager give my Taskbars a specific shape, if my resource names match certain values. These rules will also drive changes in the appearance of my tasks and milestones if their resource name values change from snapshot to snapshot. The rules will also populate into my legend so my audience can be clear what the different formatting represents. The next major group of features that we've added to the tool have to do with drag and drop. Just about everything in the view is something that you can grab and modify with a drag and drop for the purposes of resizing or moving. You can resize swim lane and row column widths with drag and drop. You can resize one or many swim lanes or rows in terms of height. You can resize individual or groups of tasks with drag and drop. You can drag multiple tasks to different rows. You can grab and resize your legend. You can grab and resize text boxes, comment boxes, 
as well as curtains. We've also enhanced the ability for OnePager to assist with creating resource views where you may have multiple resources assigned to a specific task and have added features to support the need to have OnePager create views from multiple project files. To learn more about the new 5.0 features in detail, please take a look at some of our more in-depth video series on our website at chroniclegraphics.com, where you can also reach out to us for a demonstration at support at chroniclegraphics.com, and we'll be happy to assist you.